The abandoned village of Ravenswood is deep in the English countryside, right in the middle of the whispering woods. It is there that time seems to break apart and the line between worlds is the smallest. It's a mysterious place where the wind tells scary stories about the damned and the trees look like they're in pain. The people of Ravenswood were afraid of the raven's call, a scary tune that echoed through the woods and called the living to their deaths. Some people believe that if you heard the call, you would be pulled to the middle of the forest, where an old evil waited. Emily, a famous ghost hunter, and James, a skeptical partner, got a mysterious message inviting them to explore the abandoned town of Ravenswood. Come and find out what Ravenswood's secrets are, the bloody letter said. The two were interested, so they went to Ravenswood with the most up-to-date ghost hunting gear. As they went deeper into the town, strange things started to happen, like hearing whispers that didn't come from anyone, seeing shadowy figures, and having the unsettling feeling that someone was watching them. One terrible night, as they looked around the falling apart church, they found an old book wrapped in black leather. The cover had strange symbols on it, and it gave off an energy that seemed to come from another world. The raven's call rang through the church as they opened the book, pulling them deeper into the forest. As they listened to the scary tune, the jungle got darker and the trees started to twist into strange shapes. The air became thick with an evil spirit, and the two started to have scary hallucinations. Emily became more and more mesmerized by the call and was sure that it came from an old being. James tried to run away to save his partner, but the forest seemed to move and twist, trapping them in its strange tracks. The raven's call got louder and more demanding until they found a clearing where an old ceremony was going on. The terrifying message an old, twisted tree stood in the middle of the area. Its branches reached up to the sky like skeletal fingers. Emily walked up to the tree as if she were being pulled there by an invisible force. James was shocked to learn that his partner was about to be killed in an old rite as a sacrifice. He was scared as he saw Emily's body start to twist and her eyes turn as black as coal. The raven's call got louder and louder, and the tree seemed to come to life. Its branches wrapped around Emily like a cloak. James was frozen with fear as the darkness swallowed him up. The raven's call made his screams impossible to hear. The last thing he saw was Emily's face. Her eyes were as dark as the night, and she whispered something haunting, the raven's call will never end. You'll never get away. The locals, who had been hiding in the dark, came out to take James's broken body. As they pulled him away, they said in a quiet voice, the raven's call will always be heard. You really shouldn't have gone to Ravenswood. The town of Ravenswood still stands, a scary reminder of the evil that lurks in the dark. The raven's call can still be heard in the woods, calling both brave and foolish people to their deaths. Are you brave enough to answer the phone?